So it's airdrop season and I have a new airdrop guide you don't want to miss. Today we're looking at Sin Futures and by using this dApp you can qualify for multiple airdrops at once and get started in the Blast ecosystem which also has tons of airdrops on the way as you can see on the screen. So get your wallet ready or bookmark this video for later. We're going to go through all the tasks here which are pretty easy and as always do your own research. None of this is financial advice and let's jump right in. Welcome back to RankFi where we explore crypto together. So what is Sin Futures and why is this airdrop exciting? This is a leading perp dex. They have over 100,000 all-time traders, $23 billion in volume, and they're backed by industry leaders like Pantera Capital, Polychain, etc. Now regarding the airdrop, this project has $38 million in funding. They have a token confirmed. The team has mentioned an airdrop multiple times in the marketing. They have a points campaign and V3 just launched on the Blast ecosystem. And Blast is a hyped layer two network with tons of airdrops on the way. So by doing Sin Futures, you'll have funds on Blast and then you can later start doing some of the other airdrops that are very hyped right now. Now, while the airdrop isn't officially confirmed, all of these things show that it is highly likely that early users will receive a Sin Futures airdrop. And that's why I'm making this video. They're a perp dex where you can go long or short on different tokens and I want to just show you the funding again which is important for the airdrop size we see sin futures has raised 37 million dollars in over three rounds from a series B we've seen other dexes like DYDX for example they had an airdrop and they've raised 87 million dollars over four rounds in their series C so Sin Futures could raise another round and potentially have as much funding as DYDX DYDX did their airdrop few years ago in 2021 and they airdropped over a billion dollars to users. So that's one thing we can look at when looking at the potential airdrop size. Uniswap was another decentralized exchange with an airdrop back in the day, one of the original large airdrops and they had $176 million in funding. Now you can pause the page if you want more info on Sin Futures, but for all of these reasons, I think an airdrop is highly likely. So let's jump into the tasks on how you can qualify for this airdrop. So how do you qualify for this airdrop opportunity? Remember, you can find all of these steps and the official links in the description below. So the prerequisite you're going to need is a MetaMask wallet or a crypto wallet with some Ethereum loaded onto it. Step two, we have to bridge funds to the Blast ecosystem. So the bridge I recommend is going to RhinoFi. Again, this will be linked down below because they are waiving all fees to the Blast blockchain. So you can bridge your funds for free. If we click down here, we can see there's a zero platform fees promotion and this lets you bridge funds to Blast from many different layer two networks. So you can get your funds there in 60 seconds or so. So you just go to RhinoFi, connect your MetaMask wallet, and then bridge funds wherever you have funds over to Blast, and you will receive Ethereum on the other end. Step three, once you have funds on the Blast Layer 2 network, we need to buy a stable coin to make trades on Sin Futures. To do that, we need to use a spot dex. There's many dexes as we can see on DeFi Llama. There's Ambient, Thruster, Ring Protocol, I'll link to all of these down below. But once you have your Ethereum, you can go to, for example, Ring Exchange, get your Ethereum and swap it for USDB. Click Swap, Confirm Swap. The gas fees on Blast are basically nothing. So I'm gonna click Confirm here, make sure everything looks good. And the swap failed for some reason. So now it's trying again, Confirm. And there we go, Swap Submitted. And again, this is helping us qualify for multiple airdrops at once. If Ring Exchange has an airdrop, we might be qualifying for that. I forgot to mention that RhinoFi also has the possibility to airdrop a token. And now we're ready to go to step four. And Sin Futures launched a points program called Oyster Odyssey or OO Points. So you have to join the OO program. Now, if you want a 30% boost in points, I recommend using my referral link, which I'll put in the description, but you can click that link. So it'll look something like this. And then you have to do a few steps here. You have to connect your wallet, follow Sin Futures DeFi on Twitter, and it'll make you authorize your Twitter account as well. And then you have to just join the Sin Futures Discord. Once you do that, you'll get a mystery box and some free points and a boost in points if you use my referral link. After you set all of that up, it will look like this and you can start earning points and you are ready to start using the platform. After you join the points program, we have to deposit funds on to Sin Futures. So you can click this portfolio tab here and then you can deposit the USDB that we just swapped our Ethereum for. Click deposit. I'm gonna deposit all of it. Approve the transaction in your wallet. 
Now we're approved. Now we can confirm the deposit and it's depositing funds. And just like that, our account is funded. Now, step six is to start using the platform. We can make trades on Sin Futures. So you're gonna click this trade icon here. Now this is a perp dex. So you can start trading with leverage. Make sure to always do it within your budget. But we can click this drop down here. They have a bunch of tokens. You can do market or limit orders and select the amount of leverage you want to do. So let's say I wanna do 10X leverage. So let's say I wanna do 500 USDB. Then I'd click buy. You can see your liquidation price, average price, all of that info down here. Click confirm. And now let's click the buy, confirm, and trade transaction sent, trade confirmed. And now we can see we have a long placed. And you can close that at any time by clicking this close button here. And you can start placing trades over time as you will. The next thing you can do is provide liquidity to the exchange. So if you click this earn tab, Step seven is to add liquidity to any of the pools. So you see they have a bunch of different pairs here. Let's say we want to just add liquidity, go here and add funds, and then you can just passively earn more points and build transactions on the decks. Now, some bonus things you can do is again, go back to the points program and make sure you're, I forgot to mention, make sure you're placing limit orders to earn Odyssey points. So I just placed a market order for the sake of the video. You can also copy your referral link and share it with friends that will earn you additional points and the person you refer will also earn points. And you can click the leaderboard here to start trying to climb the leaderboard and outranking other wallets. And if you outrank more wallets, you'll, you will likely get a higher airdrop allocation. Now they also have a trading competition going here with a $500,000 prize pool. So you can agree and join that and start trading. And all of these actions are also earning you blast points and blast gold, as well as your Sin Futures points. So you're qualifying for multiple airdrops at once. Remember airdrops reward the most engaged users. So do your best to increase your volume within your budget and try to outrank the other wallets. And if you want a step-by-step -step checklist for all my top crypto airdrops, go to rankfi.com slash airdrop or click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.